There are important differences regarding adverse effects profiles. First generation antipsychotics are associated with higher risk of neurological side effects. Some of these include tardive dyskinesia, extrapyramal symptoms, dystonia, among others. I've included this image depicting basal ganglia to highlight the effects that first generation antipsychotics have on the nigrostriatal dopamine pathway. We'll study this mechanism in other videos. On the other hand, second generation antipsychotics gain popularity thanks to a lower risk of neurological side effects. But later it was discovered that these drugs are associated with an increased risk of developing metabolic side effects. These include hyperglycemia, weight gain and dyslipidemia. This picture shows uh, abdominal obesity as a reminder of metabolic side effects. One question matter of clinical debate is whether second generation antipsychotics are more effective than first generation agents. There are two important clinical trials that shed some light in this controversy. The first are the Clinical Antipsychotic Trials of Intervention Effectiveness, or CATI, funded by the National Institute of Mental Health. And the other is the cost utility of the latest antipsychotics in severe schizophrenia, conducted in the UK and funded by the National Health Service. The results from these trials show no evidence of benefit of second generation antipsychotics over first generation antipsychotics in the treatment of negative symptoms of schizophrenia. And close up in has shown clear utility in treatment resistant schizophrenia.